folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Springdale SS, also known as the Summerlin Series 2930RK. It's a great rear kitchen floor plan if you're looking for something with a lot of countertop space and plenty of seating for entertaining guests, then this one is one you may want to pay attention to. Let's start off right over here. So as you'll see, you have two chairs right over here. Cool thing about these folks, these ones are recliners. If you pull them away a little bit, they don't have like any zip cord or uh, like parachute cords or anything. What you do is you kind of put your hands right here, you push on the back, and then it comes up just like so, nice and easy. To put that back in, you just kind of lift up on it a little bit and it drops right down. But I like this because it gives you a couple of different places to be able to just sit, relax, you can actually put your feet up. Plus straight across, you have a sofa, the dinette, so it just allows a lot of people to be able to sit and converse at the same time. Right in the center here, you will see you have kind of like a little end table. So you have a spot where you can put your beverages or set your laptop down. If you need to charge anything, you have an electrical outlet right next door. And you'll see you also have storage underneath. So it's a great place for some extra reading material. So that way you can pull it out and, you know, read a nice book or magazine while you're sitting right here in your recliner. Big window right behind that, not only lets in a lot of natural light, but also gives you a great view out to your campsite. LED light here at night, and then you have storage running all the way across the top. If we take a step back here, we start to move into the gorgeous kitchen. And as I said, folks, huge countertops in here. This is generally the big draw to a rear kitchen is all this prep space. So if you love to cook and entertain, again, this definitely gives you the room to do it. You have this prep space right here, an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in anything else right there, you can. Of course, your large single bowl sink right here with a high-rise faucet, another electrical outlet over to this side, more countertop space, and then right over here is your three-burner cooktop. Again, this is recessed with the glass cover, so you can use this as prep space too. To access the burners, you just fold that up like so, nice and easy. And then right underneath is your oven in case you wanna do some baking. So let's look at some storage underneath. We'll start right underneath the sink here. Open that up, you'll notice you do have storage there. You also have a drawer right over here. And then you have a couple more drawers right here. So that we have a spot in which you can put your flatware as well as some of your other utensils like spatulas, knives, things like that. And then you have storage running all the way across the top. So we'll open this up, you can see all that, that we have plenty of room for your cups, your plates, your bowls. You wanna put some food items up here, you can do that as well. But just great storage all the way across. LED lights again underneath helping to light up the kitchen space. And you have a couple of windows here for light during the day. Right back here on the wall, you'll see the suburban water heater. Notice we have a switch for gas and electric. As long as you have shore power and propane in your tanks, you can turn both of those on at the same time for quicker recovery. You also see directly underneath that is your tank monitoring panel, so you can monitor your tanks as well as the battery. Microwave right up top. This is, uh, we're gonna be pretty close to what the unit weighs, right around 6,600 pounds. And directly underneath that is your hood with a light and a fan. Moving over, we get into the fridge-freezer combo. We open that up. You can see you have plenty of space in there, cut out there as well. You have a couple of drawers down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Directly underneath that, you will see your fuse box. That is where your fuses as well as your breaker will be located. And then as we uh, take a step, kind of moving back up, you'll notice the large super slide right over here. Big dinette can easily sit four people, so that way, you know, you can sit down, have a meal together. You'll see you do have some auxiliary lighting underneath the seats, which is kind of cool. This also does drop down into a bed, so if you need additional sleeping space, you need a spot to put a pack and play where it's up and out of the way. You can remove the legs and the flanges in the floor as well as the table. Drop the table down on the little ledge there, take the cushions, and put them right on top. Windows all the way around to let in natural light here. And right in between the dinette and the uh, sofa, you will notice that you have dual uh, USB port so you can charge your electronics. Little bit of storage across the top here. And then we drop down to the uh, sofa itself. It is a jackknife style sofa. 
Couple things I like about this. One, it has built-in armrests on the side, so it is a lot more comfortable to sit in. And two, you have this foldable armrest right here. So you can put this up if you wanna snuggle with someone, or you can drop it down, give yourself a little division and a place to put your arm. Plus it also opens up some cup holders there. Now because this is a jackknife sofa, this does still lift up. You can see all the great storage underneath. Excellent spot to put some larger items like guitars, bedding, things like that. And that does fold down into a bed. Now mind you, it's not a huge bed, but if it's a kid that needs a place to sleep, that's perfect for them. Take a look directly above me and you will see the AC. This unit has ducted heat as well as uh, ducted AC. And the, the AC unit here also has a quick dump feature. So um, if you need to cool it down in a hurry, right in this main living space, you're loading or unloading, open that up, cools it down quick, close those off, and then it will cool down the rest of the camper. If you want to watch TV, this is where your TV will go. Hookups forward or right over there. You will have some storage up top as well as storage right here down below. And then you have your stereo right here in the center. This unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you have, uh, you know, music on your phone or maybe you've downloaded the latest Stories in the Road podcast and you want to listen to that, you can hook up to this via Bluetooth to be able to do that. You have speakers right here. And the, the speakers will be controlled by this little module right here. So if you want to listen to the uh, music through those speakers, you'll have it on the inside. Obviously, you can flip it to the outside or right in the center to be able to listen to both at the same time. As soon as you walk in, you have a coat rack right here too, which is great. So that way, if you're camping in the fall, a little bit colder, come in, hang up your jacket, your raincoat, your sweatshirt, whatever. I like when manufacturers put that in. Right around the corner here as well is your thermostat. That unit will control both your heat and AC. When we step into the bathroom, you'll see there are two entrances and exits. One right here into the master bedroom, the other one into the main living area. And then right over here in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. Obviously, you'll see you have plenty of room here, plenty of room for the legs as well as here in the shoulders. And then over to the side is the Neo Angle shower. The thing I really like about the shower is the shower doors they use. Because they're in a roller track, when you're done showering and you open it up, all the water goes right down the door into the shower pan rather than a swing style door where it tends to go all over the floor or a curtain which generally makes a mess. I'll step in here just to give you an idea of height. So I am six foot, you see, you know, I'm just about touching the ceiling. So if you're much taller than that, you're probably gonna have to bend down. But if you're shorter, you'll have no issues whatsoever. You'll also see you have a couple of shelves here and a hand wand just to make showering up a little bit easier. Over to the side, you have your mirrored medicine cabinet. And then right down below that is your sink, electrical outlet there, and you have storage underneath that. In the bedroom here is your queen bed. This does have storage underneath. You can lift it up just like so. So again, great spot to store some of your larger items. And on both sides, you kind of have like a little nightstand there. The thing I do like about this one is it's carpeted. So if you have any, you know, small animals, like little dogs or cats that come camping with you, it kind of gives them a nice little spot to be able to sleep right next to you. Also, you have electrical outlets on both sides. So if you need to plug in a cell phone or maybe if you have a CPAP machine that you need to bring with you, you can easily accommodate that. Right over here, this is pretty cool too. Now, currently I have the pass-through open just to kind of show you so, uh, so you can see with light. But what you do is you take a clothes basket, put it right there in your pass-through. Then you can take all your dirty clothes, drop it right down in there so you don't have to clutter up the inside of the camper. Both sides also have hanging storage. You can see the hanging rod going across. And then you have a shelf going across the top right here. LED light on the bottom there in case you want to do some reading. And on both sides, you have a window. The one side is an emergency exit. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2930RK. Right up front here is your power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. You simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. Then you'll also see you have a little light there you can flip on for some extra visibility at night. Directly behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. To get into those tanks, just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are down and in. And behind that, a little further, you have rails there for your battery. If you want to set two batteries there, there is enough space to do so. Coming up the front here is the black diamond plating. This will help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also see this right here, folks. This is a big deal. 
three year structural warranty on there, that is currently the best in the industry. So that's definitely a great thing to have in the back of your mind when you're buying a new RV. Coming right around to the side here, we'll open up the pass through. You take a look in there, you'll see you do have some pretty good space, a little bit smaller door on the other side, but still nice big door on the main side here so you can fit some larger items in there. This little switch controls your power stabilizer jacks. You drop right down below here, you can see that one. This front control will operate your front two, the back one will operate the rear two. Remember folks, this is not auto level. You do not want to use your stabilizer jacks to level the coach out. You want to use leveling blocks to make sure your travel trailer is level. Then you can drop down your stabilizer jacks. If you try to use those to level out the coach, they will bend and you will damage them. Making our way back a little further here is a power tongue, or sorry, power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you have an LED light strip underneath there. The thing I love about this awning, folks, is how big it is. It covers almost the entire side of the camper here. You do have one vent to contend with, but all the rest are on the other side. So all in all, it gives you awesome usable camp space. To get into the 2930 here, you have three foldable steps with a grab handle there just to give you a little extra control when you're entering or exiting the RV. Taking another step back here, this one does have uh, nitrogen filled tires for what that's worth to you. Also has easy lube axles on there when you remove that cap, which makes the maintenance side of things a little easier. And then right back here, as I mentioned, that is that rear stabilizer jack control. Right here's electrical outlet. If you need to plug anything in outside, that's the place to do it. And right up above here, you do have uh, one of two speakers. This is one of the ones more toward the front of the awning there. But as I previously mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. Coming around to the back, spare tire right here is mounted on the bumper. Uh, great thing about this, folks, it's probably the easiest place to get to. You don't have to get down your hands and knees or crawl underneath your camper. Hopefully you never have to use it, period. But if you do, again, it is easy to get at. The bumper on here is a square tubular bumper. It does have the end caps, that way you can store your sewer hose in it so it's not riding around with everything up front in your pass-through. If you drop down, take a look underneath here, you can kind of see it. This is part of the Arctic package that's on here, folks. That is a fully enclosed underbelly in there, so that way it helps keep out a lot of the rodents and stuff uh, in the off-season, and also a lot of the road grime while tri traveling. Plus, it helps insulate your lines and your tanks in there, so uh, you know less chance to have anything freeze up on you. All right there's your 30 amp power cord. Open that guy up. You can pull it out, plug it in. It's great that it's right here in the back, as your uh, electric post generally tends to be more toward the rear of the campsite. And then right up top is your backup camera prep. Folks, if you want a backup camera, having a prep uh, makes it a lot easier to have that installed, meaning it'll save you a lot of money on labor. Right around the corner here is your cable inlet. And right down below is one of your two terminations. This is for one of your gray tanks. The other one is in front of the slide, which I'll show you in just a second. Your outside shower is right up here. That does have both hot and cold water access. And as I promised, right down underneath there, folks, is your main termination. Both your black tank valve is there, as well as your other gray tank valve. And lastly, right up front here are your water inlets. This first one right here is to fill your fresh tank if you plan on doing some boondocking. And right next door is your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Springdale SS or Summerland Series 2930RK. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.